Hello, this is Abraham Michaels back with Directed Channel, and today we're going to be looking over mobile security in Bitdefender Gravity Zone. So, when you log into Gravity Zone, you will see your monitoring here. Then you go on the left hand tab, scroll down to mobile security, click there. Uh, I've already created a test console for this, so we can open console here. Then once that loads, you may need to log in again. And here we go, here's our dashboard for mobile security. So as you can see, this is over the last week here. And I just created this as a test console, so don't, I don't have any mobile devices currently on this. So once you do, you will have some numbers here, the numbers of devices analyzed and threats detected, uh, the networks, the networks you've analyzed and detected, and apps. So here on the main dashboard you can see threat log, map, threat history, and once there are threats, most attack networks, most attacked users and devices, and then a couple metrics down here at the bottom. Okay. After the dashboard you click this little arrow up in the upper right hand corner, scroll down, and we can look at some insights. So here's a few more uh, graphs to look at for your devices on your mobile security you've got key features down here MDM integration SIEM integration um, advanced app analysis phishing detection app policy and security score trend so it'll take your security score uh, it goes from 0 to 10 how secure your devices are and it'll, this will be a, a graph that will chart out how how good the security score has been over the past as I said, I don't have any devices currently on it, so you can see zero critical devices and zero risky devices. This is also your OS risk if you need to upgrade one of your operating systems. Next, we can go to the threat log. As I said, we don't have any threats, but once they do show up, you can list them here, and it'll have severity type, the threat name, the group, users, device ID that it's on, the app name, action triggered timestamp state and then apps and extensions are also similar to this as as they will have these uh, classifications of these apps as they pop up so the name package name version all that for apps same for extensions classification extension name extension ID version device count privacy risk security risk when it was updated and the status same with devices risk posture the user the group the OS what OS it is whether it's upgradable or not device ID model app version and all that good stuff finally profiles you can see the different user profiles and how many devices they have with the devices count and then you can see which ones are high risk suspicious or untrusted Next in policy, we can go through the threat policy once this loads. Let it kick into action here. Okay, here we are. So you can see here it's got lists of different kinds of threats and whether or not they're enabled. What and what the um, security level is or severity level so we have elevated risks low risks and critical risks so you can do some device actions with this with this with this all of these are singular Let's see if we have any other non singular yeah here's a composite one it's currently not checked compromised network so if your network's compromised it's very critical Comp composite um, apps policy, we know apps right now, so no flagged apps, no unreviewed apps, no out of compliance apps. And phishing and web content policy, this is your basically your web content filtering. So you, right now phishing protection is on, there's the details for that. And then the, this is only available if you purchase the Samsung, Samsung Knox MTD license. Okay. Let's go back. Let's look at OS risk. 
So this will list out your OS risk. These would the, be the number of devices with a vulnerable operating system. Um, these are the ones that can be upgraded, and these are non-upgradable devices. And finally, the last tab is the Manage tab. Okay, so the Manage tab has a lot of general information, such as your company information and user information, and also has some uh, checkboxes where you can enable different features, like the Danger Zone feature, the App Risk Lookup, Android Battery Optimization, and the Privacy Summary. You can also insert your license. Let me scroll down here. You can insert your license key for the Samsung Knox KPE license. You can also configure your device and activity, such as allowed in activity time, the warning interval, and the max number of warnings. Privacy, basically this sets up the level of information that is collected. So location, the device, this is max, so switching off different templates, it'll just for low forensic data, it won't collect any location. If you set it to medium, it'll collect your country and none of the application or browser extensions. High checks these boxes and gets down to the city and max gets down to the very street where you're located. Next up we have integrations. These are I have not integrated either of these as I have no devices. So you can do that here when you have those. VPN settings, default DNS, ba pretty basic 8888 and 8844. Um, network sinkhole settings. You can do all, do all that. And the audit logs, right there. Whitelisting and access control. Basically, this is all the different things you can do in the Manage tab, and that really, we can go back to the dashboard here, and that's basically everything you can do in the Bitdefender Gravity Zone mobile security. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please drop a like, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.